Hello, I am Jonathan. <laughs> hey, I'm Johannes. Johannes has been playing disc golf for 25 years and I'm a beginner. You know a lot about discs, I do not. In this video, we're gonna build, continue building my basic, my first disc golf bag. Today, let's find some mid ranges. Mid ranges are great when you need some distance, but a lot of control. For you, it's somewhere a shot around 50, maybe to 80 meters. Okay. Where you need a lot of control. So that's yes. important. And today, we're gonna find three. Uh, one understable, mm -hmm. one straight, uh, and one overstable. When we found your three discs, we're gonna put them in some real, real scenarios out on the course. That sounds good. Let's do it. Let's start understable. We got an Opto Pearl, minus four in turn. Should be understable for it's you. It's a panda. It's a nice panda. Flat and straight. Flat, flat. Try to loosen up and don't throw so hard. This is definitely lighter. This is lighter? I can feel that. It's the easy to use line, so it's uh, 150 grams. So that's really smooth. It's slightly less unsmooth. It's the nicest thing you've said <laughs> to me. Oh, this one is not doing what I th think in my head. A lot of them don't, but this more so. Up the fuse, Up the slightly fuse. understable. Okay. I know that this is too much like baby. Might as well. Everyone's baby. So let's throw a baby. Don't. Oh! Oh! Next up, Claymore. Mm -hmm. A little bit too high. A little bit too high, but it was, it was good. Compass. Up the compass. Yeah. Super straight, slightly overstable. Aim slightly to the right of the basket, and then it's gonna okay. slight, slightly fade into the basket. I'll put some heiser on that. Some heiser release. Mother. Next up, Royal Grand Trust. I know I'm a little bit, just a tiny bit partial here. But I like the, the feel of the plastic. It's grippy. Like so. Should I have aimed more to the right or was it heiser? I think you actually threw that straight mm. on the disc because you're not throwing super hard right now. When you get more power in it, it's gonna yeah. hold straighter for longer. So I did good. You did good. Disc did also good, but faded too much. Yeah, up the anchor. That's the uh, anchor. really overstable. Really overstable. I'm gonna adjust for that then. This one is deeper. Yeah. And got a bit, got some bead to it. This thing here, it's different. And usually this with the bead got a more of a deeper feel to it. Mm-hmm. Johannes just asked me to try a thing. I sort of hold like this, and now you said reach down to the bottom. I think you'll get a firmer grip on the disc, and it might be less flutter, and I think the discs might fly straight, straighter for you. Yeah. It feels different. So that's how the disc, that disc flies without the flutter. Hmm. So when you get flutter, yeah the disc loses stability and you, you you catch more air but also so it's both more understable in a sense and it flies slower meaning okay. less distance A little bit low. Oh! The old friend, the Heiser. <laughs> I think I know the disc though. Here is a perfect spot for an understable mid range. Mm -hmm. It might be slightly too long to you, but you want the disc to do first go straight and then turn to the right. But I, I should throw like st straight if and the disc will go. You have the power to throw an understable disc. Thank you. And it's gonna start 
turning right on its own. So big shocker. <laughs> <laughs> I picked the fuse. Yay! Congratulations, Tumas. Are you happy now, Tumas? It is a good disc. Oh. A good kick. Ooh. Aim here and like three meters above me or something. Okay. I'm gonna try a bit lower because it felt like I, I did the high thing. <laughs> Where did it land? Where did it land? Oh, no way! Under the basket. What? I'm just gonna... It's good. <laughs> Scenario two over here. We got a gap. We need a straight, straight flying mid-range, something stable. Uh, let's see what you picked. The Claymore. Because of Claymore, I don't know. It just felt good and flew straight. Let's see if it flies straight now in the real life. I'm gonna do a standstill, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a run up. It is a branch there. I don't know if it's seen, it sees, the camera sees it, but it's a tiny little fella there. Oh. Eh? Pretty good. Situation three, there's the basket, there's Johannes, and here's the tea pad. We're gonna throw here. Huh? Here. Fine. Or how far is it? 87 meters. I wanna go tea pad. Let's go tea pad. Rock out with my tea pad. This beautiful hole, it's par three, 87 meters. Just gotta throw something overstable, straight in the gap, and then fade to the left to the back. Should I throw high or low? Mm. What, what's it called? Lagom. Lagom. You should throw, not high, not low. You should throw the perfect height. Okay. So for this thing, um, I chose the trust. It feels really good for me. The plastic, everything. This is not even a challenge. <laughs> Are you zooming in on me right now, Johannes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> What's happened with the, the, the one before that? So I have the mid ranges now, which is a good thing. Yay! Yes, three things I like. Mm -hmm. mm. And I think you made some good choices for you. Thank you, for me. And if you think that you want to do a good thing, then press the like button, the thumb. Mm -hmm. Or start a fierce discussion about Jonathan's choices in the comment section. Keep it fierce. Please. And if you like this whole experience, this situation we got here, then consider subscribing. Yeah. Would be good to have you here. Do it. Uh, hey, Thor. <laughs> <laughs>